34, Jesus says, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. But wait, what's new about that? Hey, welcome back to Mixtape Theology, where we look at the theology behind our favorite 90s contemporary Christian music and poke fun at 90s Christian culture, at least just a little bit. I'm Rachel Cash. In today's vlog, we are going to look at one of my absolute favorite artists of the 90s, Out of Eden. Now, I remember first hearing Out of Eden when they opened for DC Talk in the Free At Last tour, and they absolutely blew me away. The very next day, I knew I had to get one of those awesome baby doll dresses like they had on uh, when they were on stage, but of course, they never, the baby doll dresses never look quite as good on me as it did on them. Um, my little group of friends and I, we had the More Than You Know album on repeat for basically two whole years. And when I was alone, I was the fourth member of Out of Eden. Now I got to meet Lisa and Danielle at the Dove Awards. And I think I'm about uh, 16 here. I remember that terrible perm. So I regret the perm, but I cherish the memory. They have so many good songs, but the one that we're talking about for this vlog is Greater Love. And the lyrics go like this. I searched all over, but I still couldn't find someone to give me love to heal my hurt and ease my mind. I sought affection, tried everything new, didn't even know that I was lost without a clue. You have opened my eyes to a greater love. I used to be so blind, but now it's clear to me how your love was displayed by what you did on Calvary. So to talk about the theology in this song about a greater love, we're going to start in John 13, 34. Jesus says this, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. But my question is, what's new about that? The command to love God and love others doesn't seem new in Matthew 22. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus says to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So what is new about Jesus' commandment in John 13:34? Here's the scene. It is the night of Jesus' betrayal. He and his disciples have finished their supper, and Jesus begins to wash his disciples' feet. Jesus looks at them and says, If I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. He has humbled himself to people who don't deserve it and is about to willingly lay his life down for all of sinful humanity. It's an unfathomable juxtaposition for which the disciples don't fully understand. And this is the context in which Jesus tells his disciples this new commandment. Now the new part is what Jesus adds to this command when he says this, as I have loved you, so listen again to John 13, 34, paying special attention to the addition that Jesus gives. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Further on in this same conversation to his disciples in John 15, 13, Jesus gives a little foreshadowing about the kind of love that he's looking for. He says, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. After the crucifixion and the resurrection, the disciples would think back to this event in time. They would remember this new command to love as Jesus loved. Jesus laid down his life for his friends, rescuing us paying the price for our sin that we can never repay. Now, I love this lyric from Greater Love. It says, you have mended my heart and I have been redesigned. Lord, with everything you are, you have been blowing my mind. 
I think the disciples' minds were blown when the plan was finally revealed. When you think about what Jesus has done for you, is your mind blown? Now, I know we wouldn't necessarily sing that in a church pew, I wish we did, but having your mind blown is a lyric that really resonates with me when I think how Jesus demonstrated his love for us, his love for me should motivate me to obey his command and to love others as he loved. The command he gives us can only be accomplished by him living in and through us. While we aren't enough to fulfill this command, he has proven that he is. He has shown us the greater love. And it turns out it's himself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for watching this mixtape vlog. My partner in crime, Dr. Ashley. We post two vlogs like this every month based on a 90s CCM song. We hope that you will come and find us on our social medias. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. We are having so much fun getting to know you and to inter interacting with all of you. So come and find us. And until next time, we'll see you then. Bye. Thank you.